surgery is a primary treatment option for mesothelioma of the right lung if the cancer is localized to the lung area without having spread to other parts of the body. The main surgical procedure is called an extrapleural pneumonectomy EPP. In this operation, the surgeon removes the right lung, the lining of the lung cavity, parietal pleura, the tissue between the lungs, mediastinal pleura, and the sac surrounding the heart, pericardium. Nearby lymph nodes are also often removed during an EPP to check for cancer spread. While an EPP aims to completely remove the cancer, it is a very aggressive and complex surgery with significant risks. Complications can include respiratory failure, infections, bleeding, fluid buildup, as well as pain and muscle weakness from removal of the chest wall muscles. An EPP may prolong survival for some early stage mesothelioma patients but has not been shown to cure the disease and post-surgical quality of life can be poor. For patients unable to tolerate an EPP or whose cancer is too extensive, a pleurectomy, decortication, PD, may be considered instead of an EPP. In the PD, the surgeon removes the affected areas of the parietal and visceral pleura surrounding the lungs along with parts of the diaphragm rather than removing the entire lung. This is a less invasive option than an EPP but it also does not completely remove the tumor and cancer often returns. However, a PD may provide palliation of symptoms and potential survival benefits compared to no surgery. Factors such as a patient's overall health, age, and how far the cancer has spread help determine if a patient is a candidate for EPP versus PD or other treatments. For some early-stage mesothelioma patients where the primary tumor is in the right lung or surgery may be too risky, another option is extrapleural pneumonectomy combined with radiation and chemotherapy, called trimodality therapy. In this approach, chemotherapy is given before and after surgery to try to shrink the tumor and kill any possible remaining cancer cells. Radiation therapy may also be delivered after surgery to further destroy any cancer cells that remain. While complicated, trimodality therapy aims to take advantage of the benefits each treatment offers with the goal of controlling the cancer better than any one treatment alone. However, it also exposes patients to greater risks and side effects from all three intense therapies. Studies are still ongoing to determine which patient subgroups benefit most from trimodality therapy. If surgery is not an option or the cancer is unresectable, cannot be completely removed, radiation therapy and chemotherapy are standard non-surgical treatments for mesothelioma of the right lung. Radiation therapy uses high-energy X-rays or other particles to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. For pleural mesothelioma, radiation is commonly delivered via intensity modulated radiation therapy IMRT or proton beam therapy to precisely target the affected areas while avoiding nearby healthy organs. Course of treatment usually consists of daily radiation fractions over several weeks. Chemotherapy involving a platinum-based doublet drug combination is a standard non-surgical treatment for unresectable mesothelioma. Drugs commonly used include cisplatin or carboplatin along with permetrex or raltitrext. Treatment typically consists of three to six cycles of chemotherapy over several months. The goals are to slow tumor growth and spread, as well as relieve symptoms from cancer pressing on important structures. While not curative alone, research findings indicate radiation and chemotherapy offer more chance of survival benefits when used sequentially or in combination compared to either modality alone. For later stage mesothelioma affecting the right lung, palliative care is a primary focus of treatment versus cure. Palliative care aims to relieve and prevent symptoms, pain, and stress of the disease or side effects of treatment through medications and other approaches. Drugs, radiation therapy, minor procedures, and other options help maximize comfort and quality of life when the cancer cannot be treated aggressively. Therapies may be used to treat complications such as pleural effusions, fluid buildup around the lung, atlectasis, lung collapse, infections, pain, shortness of breath, and more. In some cases, radioactive materials may be instilled into the pleural space, a procedure called pleurodesis, to help prevent recurrence of fluid buildup. Nutritional support, oxygen therapy, 
Interventions and psychological support are also integral parts of palliative care to optimize patients' well-being. Complementary therapies may aid in relaxation as well. When mesothelioma symptoms become severe despite treatment, hospice care aims to make patients as comfortable as possible in their final stages of life. Immunotherapy is an emerging and promising treatment approach that is shown activity against some advanced mesothelioma cases, including tumors affecting the right lung. Immunotherapies work by helping the immune system better recognize and destroy cancer cells. Two immunotherapies approved by the FDA to treat some forms of advanced mesothelioma include the anti-PD-1 drugs nivolumab and pembrolizumab. Both drugs work by taking the breaks off T-cells so they can better attack cancer. In clinical trials, up to a 15-20% to 20 response rate has been seen with these therapies. However, a majority of mesothelioma patients do not experience significant benefits from immunotherapy alone, and more research is still ongoing into combinations with other therapies like chemotherapy to potentially improve outcomes. CAR T-cell therapy is another experimental immunotherapy strategy being investigated for mesothelioma that attempts to reprogram a patient's own immune cells to aggressively target cancer. Several ongoing clinical trials are evaluating various immunotherapy approaches and combinations in hopes of progressing treatment options for right lung mesothelioma and the disease in general. As described above, treatment for mesothelioma of the right lung requires a multidisciplinary team approach considering a patient's disease extent, tolerance for various therapies, and individual goals of care. A treatment plan is customized based on these factors and may incorporate a combination of aggressive surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, palliative interventions, and emerging options like immunotherapy depending on the stage and biology of one's cancer. With the treatment strategies available, overall prognosis unfortunately remains poor for pleural mesothelioma. Open communication between the care team, patients, and their families helps navigate all options while optimizing quality of life for however long treatment is received. Ongoing research continues striving to develop additional therapies that may further improve survival and quality of life outcomes for patients battling this difficult cancer arising from the lining of the right lung and chest cavity.